Imagine a world where the next Einstein isn't born, but built. Well, that world is no longer science fiction, it's breaking news. Google's latest AI creations, Alpha Proof and Alpha Geometry 2, have just solved some of the most complex mathematical problems. And by doing so, shattering our preconceptions about machine intelligence and forcing us to question everything we thought we knew about the limits of artificial intelligence. Let's start with the basics. Google has been quietly working on something that's just shaken up the world of mathematics and artificial intelligence. They've developed two AI systems, Alpha Proof and Alpha Geometry 2, that are solving mathematical problems at a level that's giving even the brightest human mathematicians a run for their money. Now you might be thinking, big deal, computers have been doing math for decades. But hold on to your hats, because this is no ordinary calculator we're talking about. These AI systems just tackled the International Mathematical Olympiad, IMO. And they didn't just participate, they excelled. The IMO is like the Olympics of mathematics for high school students. We're talking about problems that would make most college professors scratch their heads. And these AI systems, they solved four out of six problems, receiving a silver level. They were just one point shy of gold. To put that in perspective, less than 10% of the human contestants reached the gold level this year. And get this, the AI even cracked the hardest problem in the competition, something only five human contestants managed to do. But here's where it gets really interesting. These AI systems aren't just number crunching machines. They're demonstrating a level of problem solving ability that we typically associate with human creativity. Let's break down how they work to understand why this is such a big deal. First up, we have Alpha Proof. This system is using a combination of reinforcement learning and formal mathematical language. It's like it's teaching itself to think like a mathematician. When it's given a problem, it doesn't just apply a set of predefined rules. Instead, it generates potential solutions and then goes through the process of proving or disproving them. What's really mind-blowing is that every time Alpha Proof figures something out, it uses that knowledge to get even better at solving tougher problems. It's basically learning how to learn. This isn't just following a set of instructions. It's adapting, improving, and coming up with new strategies on the fly. That's a key component of what we consider creativity in humans. Then there's Alpha Geometry 2, which is taking a different but equally impressive approach. This system is what's called a neurosymbolic hybrid. In simple terms, it combines the intuitive power of neural networks like the ones used in image recognition and language processing with good old-fashioned symbolic reasoning, the kind of step-by-step -step logical thinking we typically associate with mathematics. The result is a system that can tackle geometry problems with a level of understanding that's almost human-like, but with the processing power and precision of a computer. Before this year's IMO, Alpha Geometry 2 could solve 83% of all the geometry problems from the past 25 years of the competition. That's not just number crunching. That's understanding and applying complex mathematical concepts in creative ways. Now, you might be wondering, okay, but how is solving math problems cracking creativity? Great question. To understand this, we need to dive a little deeper into what creativity really is especially in the context of mathematics. When we think of creativity, we often picture artists painting masterpieces or musicians composing symphonies. But creativity isn't limited to the arts. At its core, creativity is about coming up with novel and valuable ideas or solutions. And in mathematics, especially at the high level of the IMO, that's exactly what's required. The problems in the IMO aren't just about applying formulas or following a set procedure. They require contestants to make unexpected connections, to look at problems from completely new angles, and sometimes even to invent new mathematical tools or approaches to solve a problem. That's creativity in its purest form. When these AI systems are solving problems that stump most human experts, they're not just regurgitating information or following a preset algorithm. They're coming up with solutions that even their creators might not have anticipated. They're making leaps of logic and intuition that we typically associate with human creativity. Let's take a closer look at how this works in practice. When Alpha Proof is tackling a problem, it's not just trying out every possible solution until it finds one that works. That would be impractical and inefficient. Instead, 
It's using its training to make educated guesses about which approaches are most likely to succeed. It's prioritizing certain paths of exploration over others, much like a human mathematician would. And when it finds a solution, it doesn't stop there. It then has to construct a formal proof, a step-by-step -step logical argument that shows why the solution is correct. This process of proof construction is itself a highly creative endeavor. It requires choosing the right lemmas or helper theorems, deciding on the best order to present the arguments, and sometimes even coming up with entirely new ways of looking at the problem. Alpha Geometry 2, on the other hand, is demonstrating creativity in its ability to visualize and manipulate geometric concepts. Geometry problems often require a kind of spatial intuition that we typically think of as a very human skill. The fact that this AI can not only understand these concepts but apply them to solve novel problems is a remarkable demonstration of machine creativity. But the implications of this breakthrough go far beyond just solving math problems. This development is pushing us to reconsider what we mean by artificial intelligence and what the limits of machine cognition might be. For decades, AI has been very good at tasks that can be broken down into clear, rule-based processes. Playing chess, for example, or calculating complex equations. But it's struggled with tasks that require intuition, abstraction, and creative problem-solving. These latest developments suggest that we're starting to break through that barrier. If AI can be this creative in a field as rigorous and structured as high-level mathematics, imagine what it might be capable of in other areas. Could we see AI systems making novel scientific discoveries? Composing original music? Coming up with innovative solutions to global problems like climate change or food security? Of course, we're not quite at the point where AI is going to replace human mathematicians or creative thinkers entirely. These systems still need human input to translate problems into a language they can understand, and they're working within the confines of mathematical rules and principles developed by humans over centuries. But make no mistake, this is a huge leap forward in AI's ability to engage in the kind of abstract, creative thinking we once thought was uniquely human. It's not just about processing information faster. It's about approaching problems in innovative ways and coming up with solutions that might never have occurred to us. This breakthrough also raises some fascinating philosophical questions. If a machine can engage in creative problem solving at this level, what does that tell us about the nature of creativity itself? Is creativity simply a very complex form of pattern recognition and recombination, something that can be replicated with sufficiently advanced algorithms? Or is there something more to human creativity that machines will never be able to fully replicate? And what about consciousness and understanding? These AI systems are solving problems that most humans can't, but do they truly understand the mathematics they're working with the same way a human mathematician does? Or are they simply very good at manipulating symbols and following complex rules without any real comprehension? These are questions that philosophers, cognitive scientists, and AI researchers will be grappling with for years to come. But one thing is clear. The line between human and machine intelligence is becoming increasingly blurry. In our next video, we expose OpenAI's darkest secret.